Hi, welcome everyone to today's new video on panel ARDL using Stata. So uh, we will be doing the dynamic model which is estimated for non-normal non variables. We'll start with some background. So for panel quantile ARDL model, this is for a basic equation that you have a change independent variable and the difference form of independent variables and then the lag of dependent variable and lags of independent variable this is called uh, one step ECM equation in which there is shortened uh, first difference forms uh, uh, first difference forms and lag forms so in this equation the sigma 1 this portion will give which is the coefficient of lag of the dependent variable will give you the convergence coefficient which must be between 0 and minus 1 and significant then the alpha 1 to alpha n are shortened coefficients and then since it's one step ECM you have to calculate the long run manually the formula for that is you have to divide these coefficients with sigma 1 and since sigma 1 will be is already negative the signs will reverse so the formula is long run for everyone is beta 1 over sigma 1 iv2 is beta 2 over sigma 1 so this way we can estimate now i'm going towards stata and we'll do some estimations so first of all i will read the data that i have in this data sets i will show you some some variables so the data set includes co2 and other variables for whole world what i will do is i will generate some variables so that you can see some very first of all you can see it here is that the country's name is in red means it is correct data not a numeric data so you have to create a coded data for that so that you use encode countries and create a id so uh, if you do this and you have a look here so the data is coded now okay so then you do is xt set id here now uh, so you can generate uh, do xt set here this way uh, the stata will know that it is a panel data now this is a command that you can use to do descriptive stats in detail so tab stat command when you run it so the variable is not there uh, ad so i will copy that command and move it here first of all i will generate this dependent variable now i will do this tab stat it is better than the standard sum command because it includes the uh, median also and skewness and ketosis here you can see that the data is not normal even if you do sk test for adco2 and set and run this command you will come to know that data is not not normal so you cannot use the standard regression models now i will also show some panel unit root test commands for that this is a command for fisher based panel unit root and this shows that data is stationary but one of them variable was non-stationary for that because of that i have to use the rdl now i have to generate few variables as you have seen it here that uh, we need uh, different forms and lag forms so i am generating variables here so these are first of all i will take a log then difference forms and then lag forms before that i will use the capture drop with commands this is used if the variable is already there it will drop it otherwise it will not show error and when you run it so it's already defined because it's after the capture drop so we will remove it because it's already made and then i will run these and it will create the variables okay so now what i will do is i will run this q rec panel data this d for dco to change these are change variables and these are lag forms then id is for cross-section identifier here for time identifier then some algorithm that will run so this is fixed effect panel data ecm equation which is which can also use that panel quantile ideal when i run this it will do some simulations it will do it for 400 times you can increase it if your sample is bigger now you can see the results are here the this one is negative significant means there is a convergence and these coefficients will become positive so 
and and collected uh, so if I open the calculator here so the coefficient of L LED is first independent variable is minus 0 0.1385 divided by so okay it's 0 0.183 7 divided by 0 0.00429 so since both are negative it will look on 42.7 so it is saying that this variable has a positive effect similarly others will have negative so you will calculate it accordingly so this is a panel quantile ideal model and and you, if you want to see the cross section wise um, if you want if you want to do estimate so make sure that you create appropriate variables because you cannot create it within the within the uh, system so thank you very much for watching do subscribe and like the video